do a video going over my watch list for Monday, September 19th. So if you're interested in learning how to trade stocks, you'll definitely want to like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll be letting you guys know which trades I do plan on taking and what level is going to trigger my entry, as well as what I plan to do with my stop loss. And I'll be going over my technical analysis on these stocks so you can see how I chart these stocks and come up with the thesis. So basically what we got here is NVIDIA is the first setup. And you basically took out a lot of selling pressure on this bounce, closing near highs, and almost even took out Thursday's highs. So that's telling us we got some buyers down here. Then we look at this and say on the hourly, <clears throat> you got a couple gaps that you're looking at, this being the first gap. So if you break over 132.12, I'll be buying call options. And my targets that I'll be looking at, this first gap, and then this second gap right here. What I like about this is this is a simple trend line break. And the final target would be up in here at this uh, swing high anchor VWAP from up there, and which also coincides with that trend line error. So what I like about the fact that this gap attempted to fill once, so we get back in it a second time, the odds of it failing again or faking us out again are lower. Doesn't mean it won't fake us out, it just means it's a little bit lower. So that's NVIDIA, that's what I like, over 132.12. And with any of these trades, I'm probably going lighter with a 70 to 100% stop loss on weekly contracts so that I can give the trade time to set up and go. If you put size on it, then one, if it starts to lose 132, you want to start to scale out, start to cut, and uh, get yourself out before any extreme damage happens. XLF, we have a situation here where it's bouncing off of that demand error right here in green. You got yourself a nice bullish candle, potential reversal candle for a quick move high. Over 33.12, I'm looking to buy call options. So looking at this on the hourly is a pretty similar setup. Um, you just simple trend line break. We'd be looking at this 33.80 price error right up in here for the first target. And then you got a gap fill up there. And then you also have that trend line that you want to be looking at possibly getting out of uh, along the way for the next setup. It's 35 price error. You definitely don't want to be too bullish. Um, so just let something set up once you get up in that error. Looking at Carnival Cruise Line, the third and the third and final setup. You have yourself a situation here where you have a nice inside bar with bullish momentum and you are rated at highs in a supply error. So your first target is gonna be the highs of the previous day. Over 1081, you wanna target 1119 first, and then 1156, and possibly if it moves higher than the next area you'll be looking at, will be 1315. You look at this on the hourly time frame, then you would um, see that this has a very simple, clear resistance error. So you break over 1081, that's the next supplier that you'll be looking at. And again, with this stop loss, if you start to break back below 10, if this doesn't go like immediately, then it's just not going to work. So uh, you cut this pretty quickly if it starts to fail. And you have the option to size heavy, cut fast, or size light. Very loose stop loss. Just let it run. Clearly, if it's clearly failing, then you get up, salvage some losses. Even if you do go light, this is not financial advice. And... Um, yeah, like the video, subscribe to the channel. You can see that this is simply the stuff that we look for when we want to find good trade setups to make money off of trading stock options. It's really that easy. We'll see what plays out Monday. And, um, I'll be back with more content later.